chef Arturo Melendez has been enthralling food lovers at Chicha since it opened. We met up with him at the Mille kitchen to make his signature ceviche. Check out the recipe on our Facebook page and give it a try at home. For that one, first starting with the fish. Uh, you can make ceviche with any white fish. I decided and I used that one in the restaurant. Okay. Sea bass, nice oh, fillets. So first explain how can cut. Okay. I cannot explain how can fish, but okay. I can explain how can cut. No problem. Starting with the fish, try use the more parts with more meat like that one. That one you can use for make the leche de tigre. I okay. explain you how. Okay. No? Just like a little bit like this, that one's like a waste. I'm putting on another bowl and just like that for make the leche tire. Of course, I have one already. Okay. After you have the fish like this, just try cutting dice. Depends what you want is the size of the dice. I like it always not too small because if still too much time with the lime or lemon juice, uh, can make, can overcook and that's not the idea. In Peru, the idea sure. always is it's a uh, it's fresh, no? Mm. You feel fresh. Feel, the feel, feel, the feel the fr fresh. Yeah. So After you want to get the pieces about this big? Almost. Almost, okay. Okay. Just cut and cut in dice. You can cut more small or I don't recommend it too much beef because also the beef, the fish need to uh, catch the lime and all the seasoning, mm. no? Okay. So to speak, so, right. So when you put these um, flavorings on, they're actually going to cook the cook the fish. So you want to get it the right sort of size, so it's not overcooked or undercooked. Mm. Exactly. I don't okay. want to go to extreme. I prefer stay in the middle. That's the thing. I cut that size. No, it's not too big. It's not too small. Mm. Okay. After this, put all the things in bowl. Okay. And just reserve. And now, just I want to explain how can make the principal thing about that dish. Of course, you need fresh fish. Mm -hmm. Important. Okay, after this, make the leche tigre. Okay, so what, what is leche de tigre? Leche tigre is the sauce in the time created, the Peruvian people when make it that dish. That dish has you, a got, thousand. You've got that whole, that whole groove going on, I can't <laughs> get that going. Because I don't cut too much today, so okay. I can use my hands for explaining. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that is a dish for thousand years in Peru, in all the, that part of uh, South America. Yep. And the people in that moment eat a lot of fish with the salt and chili in Peru, colaji flavors. And when starting the migration, do other things. And the juice from made it from the fish plus lime juice plus onions made a rich juice after you eat and you feel the strongest, um, mm -hmm. so hard. And that's called leche tigre, that means tiger's milk. Mm. No? So it makes you feel strong like a tiger? <laughs> is that the idea? <laughs> it's that idea. Always, oh, that is the idea. <laughs> but for that one, uh, you need to squeeze lime juice. Yep. No? If you don't want to uh, be too much bitter, because sometimes the lime is a little bit bitter for the skin, mm. you can have some ice inside the lime mm. no? uh, before you blend it. After this, some coriander, some celery, some garlic, some uh, ginger, okay. and some onion. Mm -hmm. Put all together in the blender with the lime juice and your fish waste. So you actually flavor. put fish into that sauce? Yes. Okay. Mm. No, because you remember I have some waste the fish. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just for don't throw, just I... Put no, it into the, the sauce. Exactly. Yeah. I have okay. all the rich flavors. Mm. So After, then if, you, if you're putting fish into this, this is something that you have to make fresh all the time. Exactly. Okay. You need make, in Chicha I made every day, it's all mornings. I cannot lie here, I says I catch the fish all mornings, <laughs> but I made that sauce all morning. Of course, the more secret ingredient, the Peruvian chili, ají. That is ají limo. If you don't have ají limo, you can change or you can use another chili, like a Thai chili, the small one, really mm -hmm. spicy, because I like that one with good kick, spicy. Mm. Okay. I love that one. And you have now the leche de tigre. Okay. You can smell. It's a little bit fishy, lime, salty. Mm. Also, you can try. This, I mm. think so. Please. Tiger's milk, I've got to have a little bit of that. <laughs> Always. Also, if you That's have delicious. that weekend, you have a good party and leave it hangover in Sunday, drink so you leche can actually tigre. Drink that really? Exactly, wow. it's like really good wow. for hangover. Okay, so. After this, for the dish, before I made everything, I have some garnish. That is uh, traditional in Peru, called choclo. It's a fresh corn, it's a white big corn. Mm. It's really nice in the ceviche, no? Uh, onion, the onion okay. you just cutting a, a fine slice. Okay. Sweet potato, depends what you want. Uh, can just boil it sweet potato and cut in rounds. I love it cutting dice. 
and not more cute. Can, everything's about the same sort of size, so the same exactly, size fish and everything. Okay. You can, after this, make, mix it everything and eat it with the spoons. And also I have a dry corn called cancha. That is it always in Peru like a snack. Oh. No? Um, some like bars have the trick make a little bit more salty. Okay. If you eat salty, drink more beer. Mm. Eat more salty, drink more and, beer. And is it fried or is it baked in an oven? Uh, you can cook it in oven or you can cook it in pot. No? But okay. if you cook it in pot, be sure all time remove and remove. Doesn't pop? No pop. Oh, okay, fantastic. No pop. No? Okay, back to the fish. Fish here. First, salt. After this, I love it. Use coriander at the moment chop. I use some with some tails. Okay. Do you use the um, the root or you only use the leaf? Uh, and the leaf and some tails. Okay. The root I put when I make the leche tigre. Oh, nice. Mm. Because all that one have all the flavors. And also I believe when you chop the coriander at the moment, it's more rich in flavor. Snacks for the show. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> yeah, it's addicted. I cannot stop. Mm. Excellent to be drinking Pisco. Yeah, with Pisco. And also the leche tigre, you can put Pisco. It's really good. Ooh, it's really amazing. That's an idea. Make mm. you more strong, yes. Be careful. <laughs> okay, after this, onion. And, of course, the leche tigre. And how long does it take for the leche to cook the fish? Depends. Usually I made at the moment and serve. But okay. if you like, leave it more cook the fish because that one is depends what you want or what you like. No, if you like leave it uh, really raw and fill the fish at the moment and sending, or if you little bit uh, want to more cook the uh, fish, you can just wait three, four, five minutes. I don't say ten minutes because it's too much time. Mm. And do you need to use a firm, a firm fish, or um, if you could use salmon or anything like that, would it work? Usually, it you use white fish, but okay. you can choices for make more, more. That is a classic one, no? Okay. But now Peru is really uh, crazy and really trendy for food, and all the chefs want to make a own dish and own style. And you can use tuna, salmon, okay. and other things. In Chicha, have another ceviches, more modern, okay. no? Okay, leche tigre. Mix little bit. so mm. good. Oh yeah, mm. my mouth is wet now, yes. seriously. Yeah. I love it. Have some of those, it makes it pretty dry. Mm. <laughs> okay, ready for make it? That's it? It's so simple, so easy, so fast to do. Okay. Let's go. Also, if you like some more rich flavors here, you can put uh, like a seafood. For example, prawns, uh, Scallops, some octopus, and some squid. Of course, the octopus and squid a little bit cook. Okay. Mm. You know, and that makes yep. more rich flavor. And in that moment, uh, you say uh, ceviche mixto or mixed ceviche, no? Okay. So and I'm you can use another citrus flavor, like a passion fruit. It's another fruit uh, really used in Peru and it's really rich. Oh. Okay. In that moment, you can say it's passion fruit leche de tigre. Mm. I wouldn't like... be able to do that. <laughs> passion fruit leche de tigre. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds so. Uh... Bad. So sexy. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> yeah, so Peruvian. They're so Peruvian, Okay. Usually I use in the restaurant to garnish, but I like put today three with cancha. Okay. With what? Three garnish. Uh, three garnish with Yeah, cancha. usually in the restaurant I use two. Okay. Choclo. Yep. And sweet potato. But now I want to put a little bit more cancha. Just for make more fun that one. So you have different textures in your more when you eat. And that's it. Simple, that's awesome. easy, healthy. It certainly is very, very healthy. Mm. And rich, and rich flavors. And I think the acidity of it is really, really nice. Mm. I find Peruvian food, when they use the limes, it's very, yeah. very acidic, it really but it's good it for it. Yeah.